What is good, world? See this? I got my leg folded up here. I'm sitting like a true adult, real grown, stern person. That's because we got some serious business to discuss. I'm actually going to be showing with you all my last year, my top three losses, aka Larry June voice, lessons of the year that I learned investing. These will be my top three losses that I experienced on both my portfolios. And then next time I'll do a video on my top wins. But I want to be transparent and show you how we did this year in the investments and show you the biggest losses I acquired or accrued and then tell you what I learned from it. I learned a ton, so I'm excited. Let's get it. You did. I'm in my bed, yeah. keep talking. Go to the bank so much they know my name. Talk a lot, can't write a check in their name. Figure out we ain't in the same game. Honestly, baby, I'm cruising my lane. I'm at Wells Fargo, I'm popping champagne. What is good, people? It is your boy, The Session. I am here today in this lovely crew neck. Yes, indeed, this is mine. This is the Free Life Manifest Your Gang sweatshirt or crew neck. If you want to get one, go ahead and hit that link below. But today, I'm going to be diving into the device, and I'm going to be showing you my top three losses that I've accrued in both of my portfolios this year. To, or no, 2021. Technically, it's not this year. It's 2022. But I want to be transparent and show y'all some of the big detriments that my account took and i'm going to be expressing some of the shit that i learned along the journey so like the video subscribe to the channel i got to keep it transparent with y'all because we are on the road and on a mission to having one hundred thousand dollars in our investments all right so let's dive into robin hood okay so we dive into robin hood and i gotta take y'all to my biggest uh l or loss or you know loss of profit this year and that is ticker symbol amc now again uh y'all watching this my beginning year of, or my beginning month of actually investing was October, October 2020, um, and it ended in October 2021. Now, it is now, while you're watching this, it is now January, so there's been some time that have passed. I may toss some past screenshots up so you can see what the portfolio looked like in October, but nonetheless, AMC, and I want to tell you what I learned. AMC went down, as you see, it's down on the day, and we'll see. I have almost 50 shares of this. I have over $1,000 invested in it, and you'll see my total return here, you see, is negative 30%. Now, some of you might be like, damn, Sesh, you suck. You, you, you're not doing good, and some of you might be bummed out or discouraged. For me, I think about all that I've learned this year. I watched a stock like GameStop, a company like GameStop, caused so much controversy that it crashed and had to make Robin Hood go through lawsuits. Same with AMC and all these meme stocks. I've seen the power in them. I'm still a very big believer. I went to the movie theaters recently. I believe in this stock. Now, you don't have to. You can still say it's bad. I get it. One thing I do learn, I did learn, is that AMC was up for most of the year. So look, let's go over here, right? Let's go to one year. And let's just see. Let's just see, right? Let's say if we go to October, right? That's $40 right there. I could have took some profits right there. It's all about taking profits. So one thing I, I just went live on with a homie on TikTok. One thing I want to express is taking some profits. Now, the average S&P yield is maybe 11%. I was being a bit bullish and thinking I'm going to sell when I get to 30 to 45%. That's usually when I sell. Now, if that's a bit high for you, what I would have done in the past and what I will do going forward is if I see it crashing how it is, you can sell some position, but you cannot sell some position and re-enter within 30 days if you are selling for a loss. So as you see right now, you see how I have negative 30%. If I were to sell some of these, I can't re-enter and buy more shares because that's called a wash sale. So it's just something to be mindful of. So AMC, you gotta really, you got if you believe in this company like this and you're gonna stick it out, you gotta be down to go with it through the lows and the highs. So AMC is one company I do believe in, but as you see, down 30%. This is almost a $500 loss, but for me, it was a lesson learned. You let me know in the comments if you fuck with AMC still. My, at number two, my next biggest hit that I took was NIO, N-I-O, and this is in the Robinhood portfolio. This is the portfolio that y'all love the most. These are my um, most volatile positions. Um, these are the most individual stocks that I have. NEO, as you see, is $31. Those of us who are NEO ninjas, you can put that comment below. I'm still a believer in NEO. You can go to tip ranks and check it out. Um, you'll see that it's still very much believed and you'll see some of the biggest hedge fund investors still invest in this. And I would like to point out that a lot of hedge fund 
managers didn't even perform above the S&P 500. So don't beat yourself up if you performed low. These last few months have been treacherous. And look at the Nancy Pelosi's, look at the Congress, look who has insider information and look what's happening. Look at the, and look how that went up to almost 30 plus billion dollars of a company, just saying. Okay, so now we see Neo. I'm down almost 18% in this position. It is what it is. The Chinese government gave the company damn near $3 billion. I see potential in Neo. They, uh, Tesla does have some market share, but with the way the world's turning and most people are making it mandatory for you to have a certain amount of EV vehicles or a, a decrease of carbon emissions of some, print, of some point, they wanna decrease the footprint. So in the next five years, I still believe in Neo. If you are a believer in Neo, let me know. But you know, I took a big L, AKA I learned a lesson with Neo, almost 18%, it's very big. And honestly, this is the only other thing I lost in, in the Robinhood portfolio. So I'm gonna take you to public. Okay, and last but certainly not least, we have Teladoc. Now, Teladoc is still a company I'm still very bullish in and very much believe in, but we took an L, 2021. No if fans or buts around it. And you gotta be having a smile on your face because even if your portfolio looks terrible, we are still doing more than most of the population. Most of the population doesn't even invest. So as we get our gears together, learn the market, learn technical analysis, the fundamentals, you know, these companies recover, you know, it, it really doesn't take that long for you to start recouping your investment. All we need to do is string together a few good months. So Teladoc, as you see, all time gain, a big fat negative 350. It's a $15 billion company. You know, Kathy Wood and many others have investment in this company. I'm very bullish on Teladoc. From my past videos, y'all already know. I, when I moved to California in 2017, I received a cannabis card on my phone. Didn't go to the doctor or anything. He popped up virtually on here. And I know that this will be the future of healthcare, waiving co-pays and different subscription costs and prescription prescription costs and things of this nature. Teladoc to me is the future. I'm, I believe in it, but believing and being cool got me negative 350 here. So this was the biggest loss that I took in my public portfolio, but I must say my public portfolio, um, you know, was better off than my Robinhood portfolio just because we had safer stocks in here. So L is just a lesson. Don't beat yourself up about it. It is what it is. These are my three biggest losses that I have. But let me present some news. I'll just run through it. I will be selling my position in Costco and I will be selling Arrowhead, which is ticker symbol ARWR. I tried to make the mistake of beating it and doing this without the ETFs. I had VU, I had, no, no, pardon. I had v, I, I had VU earlier and I had SPHD at the beginning of the year, PEY. I thought I could do it without the help of the ETFs. But as you see in the long run, the ETFs just have so much so many amazing companies within them. It makes no sense to try to compete against them. So I'm going to be purchasing VTI and QQ. I'm going to be purchasing VTI and QQQ. I'm telling you here now, you've heard it here first, but I pray you liked the video. Let me know what you thought of the video below, man. If you, if you were up or below or how'd you perform this year in investing? It's amazing that we only had two losing positions in Robinhood and public. We had two, but they were just a bit steeper because Teladoc's new and it's not proven and it went to shit. But I love you. That was the video. I will be making a video on my top gains um, of the year as well. My top gains of the year as well. And I will be making a video showing you the ETFs that I do purchase. I love you. Wanted to make a quick video just showing you how the year went for the kids. My biggest losses, but the just lessons. Until next time, stay lit, stay awesome, stay healthy. Unique.